Hey there, this is Secure Mac, and in this video, we're going to show you how to enable File Vault on your Mac. So, File Vault encrypts all the data on your Mac, which means that even if someone has physical access to your computer, they still won't be able to see what's on it or decrypt that data. We'll do the walkthrough first, and then we'll say a little bit more about what File Vault is, how it works, and why you might want to use it. So, let's get started. Head up to System Preferences. Click on Security and Privacy, and then go to the File Vault tab. And remember, as always, before you can make any changes, you're going to need to click on this lock icon, and in this case, enter an admin username and password. And once that's open, to turn on File Vault, all you have to do is click on Turn on File Vault. And so here's where you're going to have a choice. If you want to be able to use your iCloud account to reset your password, you can choose this option here. And to be honest, that's probably what most people do. It should be fine. If for whatever reason you don't want to enable iCloud recovery and you just want to create a recovery key instead, click on this option here. So you can see here, it, it generates this long, complex recovery key. Now the only warning with this option is, be aware that if you encrypt your disk and then you lose your password and you lose this recovery key, you're not going to have any way to access your encrypted data, like ever again. Apple isn't going to be able to help you, and so any data you have stored locally on your Mac and not backed up elsewhere, it's just going to be lost. So you're really going to want to copy down this key and store it somewhere safe. Don't store it on your encrypted Mac since, you know, first of all, it's bad practice to store keys in plain text on a system. And also, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of a recovery key if you store it on the Mac that you're locked out of. So keep it somewhere safe wherever you keep that kind of sensitive information, uh, maybe physically in a safety deposit box, at the bank, or in a home safe or maybe using the secure notes feature of a password manager. We're just going to go with the iCloud recovery option today. So select that, click on continue, enter your username and password again. Remember this is the admin username and password. And after a few seconds, should be done. So as long as your Mac is awake and plugged in, so not on battery, it's going to start encrypting everything in the background right away. And just be aware that the first time you do this, um, especially depending on how much you have on your system, it really could take some time to encrypt everything. But after that, anything new, like any new file that you add, is just going to get encrypted automatically. And you know, it should go much faster. Again, this is as long as you're not on battery. And there you go. File Vault is now turned on. You can click on the lock icon to finalize your changes and close out of there. So let's talk a little bit about how to use File Vault and why we use File Vault. First of all, one thing to note, next time you start up your Mac, you're going to be prompted to enter your password and it's not going to be possible to use automatic login anymore, either for you or for any other user on the Mac. So if you do have other people who are using your Mac, you might want to give them a heads up if you turn on File Vault. In terms of why we're doing this and what it all means, basically when you use File Vault, everything on your Mac is stored in an encrypted form. And, you know, a bit of an oversimplification, but your password is basically working as the decryption key. Without getting too technical, the encryption used here is like really, really strong. And that means unless you have that login password, all of the data stored on a File Vault encrypted Mac is basically going to be useless gibberish to you. And there's not going to be any way to get at it, even if you have physical access to the Mac. So this protects you in a number of scenarios. If your Mac gets lost or stolen, uh, if someone's trying to spy on you, steal your files, or even in cases where, you know, maybe you have reason to want to protect your device from the government. The caveat here is that if your password is weak, like if you're just using password or I love you or your first name and your birth year as your password, then all of this is totally pointless because somebody with physical access to your device is just going to be able to guess your password and log right in. So that's why we say always, always, always use strong passwords. 
Okay, we hope this video has been helpful. If you still have questions, let us know down in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.